Hello Zebraherd, welcome to Zebra's Arcade, a series where I try a new game every episode. Today, we're trying Littlewood, which is a game that's coming out in just a couple of days. Apparently, it's Animal Crossing, Stardew Valley-like, and basically, it takes place after the hero has saved the world. So, that's a fun concept. I know the game is just coming out. I'm not sure. It seems like, if you've seen the bottom, version 0 0.9, I don't think this is the full game. Um, but pretty close to it, so that's pretty cool. Big thank you to the developer for sending me an early code. But yeah, let's go in and check out Littlewood. So it looks like we can uh, customize our character here a little bit with like different hairstyles and stuff. Uh, we'll do the spiky hair, I like that. I don't wanna go too crazy with customizing your character right now. Um, just sort of wanna get into everything. So we'll do the white hair, sure. And I, I think that most stuff is fine here, especially since the character is so small, it doesn't really matter too much. So what are, yeah, what are our different personality types? We have friendly, sassy, pirate, bookworm, curious, kind, naughty, creative, friendly. Huh, I like creative, let's do that. And then let's, can we just type in our name? No, we can't, okay. <laughs> so it's a little weird, but I'm just gonna do this. Yeah, I'm not using a controller for this, maybe I should be, but for right now, this seems fine. There we go, zebra. And we'll try this out for a little bit. So I, I'm guessing there's gonna be farming, there's probably gonna be taking care of the town. I guess we'll find out, but I do like the art style. I always like minimalist, 8-bit, pixelated kind of thing. Very peaceful. Almost reminds me of Pokemon with the art style. Move the WASD keys, confirm a spacebar, cancels controller escape, and run a shift. To open your inventory, press the cancel button. All right. Items, ooh. So we have earth pieces, wood planks. We don't really have anything too much in these categories, but there's also a build mode. Oh, so we can like build in our house. And a journal, which of course, sort of marks everything else we've been doing. Cool, so yeah, let's just sort of move forward with everything then. Oh, hello. Zebra, you're awake. I guess this is Willow. I was so worried about you. You were asleep for three days. All of the towns across Solom are finally beginning to rebuild. What, you don't remember anything? Come on, don't be silly. You, the hero of Solom, saved the world by defeating the Dark Wizard. You really can't remember, huh? That means you probably don't remember the uh, never mind. We'll get back to you to normal soon. Well, first things first, we've got to rebuild this town. See, the, the, the world has already been saved, and now we got to rebuild the town. Hello, Willow. I don't know what this town's name was. How about we give it a new name? What do you think, Zebra? So I think that, uh, just like, or maybe I guess we can name it Littlewood if, yeah, after the name of the game. Sure. Uh, that settles that the town will be called Littlewood. Hey, is that Dalton over there? He got my letter. Now we'll have more help rebuilding little with rebuilding little little wood. Okay, maybe, maybe that's a bit of an issue. It's a bit of a tongue twister. Oh, and I almost forgot. Here's a blueprint for a house. You should build it right away. All right, it's so a new house blueprint. My house. So the 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 room we just woke up in was not our house. Oh, I can compliment her. You really know how to make me feel good. Aw. Some extra building materials are right by my house with the green roof. Okay, so that was her house. Feel free to help yourself to them. Let's see you build a house. What about this one? That had 80 wooden planks. And then right over this way, boom, 80 plain bricks. So I'm guessing right here would be a great place for it. Let's go to build mode. And yeah, house is my house right here. Perfect, so it's, it's, it's definitely like nice in alignment with hers. I like it. So now we can just go into our house. It's very uh, barren for the time being. This house is perfect for a great hero like you, but it is a little empty. You should start by building a bed. All right, well, new blueprint, plain bed. So, once again, we don't wanna go there, we're gonna go to build mode. Essentials, beds, sounds good to me. So I guess it would take two wooden planks out of our 72, so actually not too bad. That's a tiny little bed. Tomorrow we should start chopping trees and mining ores. Dolan said he could set us up with some new tools in the morning. All right, well, that sounds great. Um, so I guess, should we go to bed for now? Is that the best bet? I guess so. Uh, so let's just go over here. We're dead to sleep. Sure, why not? Oh, and today's accomplishments, we got Willow up to level eight. That's awesome. And now it's Tuesday, day two of spring, I think that said, yeah. I got a good night's rest, I'm feeling optimistic. Good. <laughs> what is she doing? She's dancing around. No way, my hair is not pretty today. You're so nice, Eva. Oh yes, it definitely is pretty. 
Hey there. Hey there, Zebra. I hope you're getting accustomed to your new home here in Littlewood. Now that you're here, we can start thinking big. I think our next step for this town is to start earning some dewdrops. All over Solemn, there are many travelers and merchants looking for neat things to buy. We need to build a marketplace. All right, the new structure blueprint, marketplace. Oh, up here seems perfect. Seems like they definitely have some spots laid out for us in mind. Um, let's go to our build mode again. Objects, structures. So we already have a couple of things here, the lumber mill, a uh, smelter, and a marketplace. Oh, actually, that's not gonna fit. So where do we wanna put the marketplace that would actually fit well? Maybe here, nope. Wow, this thing is huge. There's gotta be somewhere. If not, I might have to start knocking down some trees or something. Maybe over here? Once again, if the trees, okay, here we go, here we go. Ah, so it's sort of like outdoor marketplace. That's not too bad. Um, for right now, that's good enough, good enough. Oh, and there's some mail here. Was this supposed to be my mailbox? Maybe I shouldn't have put my house where I did? I don't know. Dear Zebra, you're doing a great job with rebuilding Littlewood. Here's a gift I got for you. Well, uh, heroic merit. Ooh, I don't know what that's about. Hang out. Yes, let's hang out. So she'll just follow me around now. Interesting, but I can't talk to her. I can also just stop hanging out. There we go. Talk. You can move objects out of the way in build mode to make room for the marketplace. Uh, once you've built, you should try selling some of those pesky weeds. Any items you sell will turn into dewdrops the next time. So I guess if I wanted to at least line this up a little bit better, what I could do is I could go into build mode. And this is already placed. So like, how do I edit it? Elevate and move. Oh wait, no, I pressed the wrong button. Build mode, elevate and move. Here we go, interesting. So yeah, um, for right now that's good, but I could maybe move a couple of trees or something. Yeah, all right, now this is making a lot more sense. So what I'm curious about, was there a better place I could have put it? I don't think so. So if I just keep moving th some things around, like, I think that would have been fine if it wasn't for the fence. All right, well, we'll just leave it like that for now. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. <laughs> Luckily, it seems pretty good or easy to alter those kind of things. So, like, I'm happy about that. In the meantime, there's definitely some things I noticed we can go around and collect. Like, Willow's tip. Select and elevate move in build mode to move any object. Okay, so that was just her tip. Interesting. And we also got 100 dew drops. Cool. So, let's keep exploring around. Might be some more stuff down this way. I think there was. There's definitely something up that way. And I'm guessing this is where we can learn more from her tip. Uh, place dirt flooring to create stairs. Ah. So if I go build mode, flooring, dirt road, dirt soil. Ah, that's so cool. So honestly, it seems like there's, I don't know if there's infinite resources, but there's quite a lot of it, grassy earth. So maybe that's where we can do more with that, I guess. Is it depends on how many grassy earth tiles we have, the more we can edit with everything. And what about down this way? Nothing that I can access just yet, but I'm sure that maybe later on in the game we can go down that way. Hmm. So what else is she gonna say? Uh, you can move objects out of the way in build mode to make room for the marketplace. Once you have it built, you should try selling some of those pesky weeds. Um, yeah, okay. So, here, sell one item per stand. Oh, um, I don't think I need that just for right now. An empty barrel, really cool. How do I sell? Oh, here we go. Do I have any weeds? I don't think I do. So I guess I gotta go get some weeds. Is there a button I can press to like pick them up? Oh, there we go. So let's go down this way and grab a few more. I know that there were some around. So it's a very simple game so far, but it's getting more complicated as we go around. And we're getting some gathering experience for that as well. But it looks like also on the top, I can only assume that I don't have the right tool for this yet, it's a little bug. Is that experience on that bar in the top or is that our energy we're using at? But it looks like there are certain things we can't do until we get certain tools. Um, Right here. Oh, interesting. So now those are just up for sale. You can move objects out of the way, I know. Um, 
So they'll just turn into dewdrops the next day. So I guess this is a great opportunity then to see what this is. Oh, um, one star, two star gain, a DeLuca coin. Oh, so I guess if we keep donating dewdrops, we can increase this lumber mill stars. Fascinating, okay. So is there any other visitors or residents here at Littlewood right now? Like we have this um area. And same thing here, we can get different things depending on how many dewdrops we donate. I don't know if I wanna do that quite yet. Might have to figure it out. But for right now, what about over here? Got a couple more weeds we can take. Might as well get them. Oh, hello, yeah, there's somebody. This is Dalton. Whoa, so the rumors are true. It's really you. Zebra, our savior from the dark wizard is alive after all. What, you don't recognize me? But well, we did so many quests together. Hmm, maybe the dark wizard's magic wiped away your memory. Well, in any case, this is cause for celebration. I've decided I'm moving into town right away. Hopefully you can remember all of the funny jokes I told you on our past adventures. Uh, new bl house blueprint, Dalton's house. Come visit me the first thing tomorrow at my house. I have a really neat idea for this town. In case you didn't know, you can go to sleep early by interacting with your pad. Well, I definitely will be doing that, but I'm hoping that we can uh, build your house first. Let's go ahead and get that. And build mode. Objects, Dawn's house. And here seems to be a great place for it. Got a nice yard up here too. Good for you. And what about up this way? I think this might lead to a treasure chest of some sort or not. Oh, I gotta go down and around. Okay, well we might as well go and you know get that done now. Don't have the tool for that either. So definitely there'll be some tools we'll have to get sooner or later to uh, just sort of figure things out. Got this weed. 10 dirt, oh boy. And I guess we'll just continue going the long way around because I don't think we can walk through the water. Nope. But I wonder if the town layout is randomized or not. It doesn't seem like it is, so. I'm guessing this is sort of just the same way everybody else starts the game. Okay, so might as well, I guess we should change it. So it's three items per stand. Oh, okay, we can't. Need a higher merchanting level. Okay, well, we'll be selling eight of those. Not too bad. And I guess so, the, you know, there's nothing else I can really do. That's her house. This is my house. We can just go to bed. Yep. And Willow gets to level 10, Dawn level two, our gathering and our merchanting jumps up a couple levels as well, and it's Wednesday. I got a good night's rest, I'm feeling energetic. So let's see how day three goes. Hello. With a marketplace, new travelers and merchants will appear to buy your items. I recommend selling any weeds and meteorites that you find laying around. They actually sell for quite a lot of dew drops. Oh wow, and yeah, as you can see over here, we got a ton of dew drops now. Unread mail. Dear Zebra, I've been buying some of your items at the marketplace. I can't believe you sold all of this cool stuff. It was just weeds. Congrats on hitting level five in merchanting. Will I? Dear Zebra, I just want to say you're an, such an inspiration to all of the townsfolk. Will I? Thank you. She's so nice. And I guess we'll just grab all these so that we have 360 in total. And there was somebody over there. Gobby merchants will pay a good price for weeds since it's their favorite snack. Well, I'm not sure if they eat meteorites though. All right, so I guess we're just gonna hang out with Willow for right now, but I do see this guy. So apparently we can sell him weeds. So I might just wanna run around and get some more. Let's talk to him for right now. Dudley. Zebra, is it uh, that's really you? My goodness, how much you've grown. Willow sent me a letter saying that you survived the fight with the Dark Wizard. I was so worried about you on your adventures. Hmm, you don't remember much? That's okay, Zebra. What matters is the world is safe now because of you. Maybe this old man can lend a hand with rebuilding this town. New house blueprint, Dudley's house. That sounds great. So I don't know quite where we wanna give him his house. We'll look around for a little bit. I'm sure that we'll be moving things around as time goes on anyways. Uh, but yeah, we'll continue to get more weeds and we get 22 drops for that. Oh, because she's hanging out with me? I guess the more she hangs out with me, the more dew drops she'll give me. That sounds fun. Um, yeah, she's just finding dew drops on the ground as we're exploring. That's pretty cool. It's like this nice little multitasking. Let's go ahead and grab some of that. And then we'll also talk to our friend. Is he in his house? Yep, 
Cock. Don. Hey, Zebra! This is a cozy house that you built for me. Thanks a lot. And now, now as heroes finally get a chance to relax. Crunch, crunch, crunch. So I had this really cool idea for a little one. But when I woke up, I forgot it. Guess I'll just tell you all the funny jokes I've heard since we last met. Okay, okay, okay. You ready? Two ogres walk into a shop. One says to the other, hey, do you think they serve human here? Guess what the other one says. Wait, I just remembered my idea for little wood. <laughs> this town needs a shop. It would probably attract a lot of travelers. Each new person could help you regain your memory too. General shop. Cool. Whoa, thanks. I'm just trying to be like you, honestly. Oh gosh darn it, now I forgot the second half of that joke. Maybe the dark wizard got to my memory too. Maybe he did. Um, so yeah, there's that done. I guess we'll get the shop up here. Yeah, let's just go ahead, build mode. Not nature, but objects. This is Dudley's house, which I'll just put down this way for right now. We have the materials for it, so might as well. And general shop is actually quite small, so maybe I could move things around later. But I'll do that. Excellent. And let's go inside. Whoa. And there's Dalton. The shop is perfect. Oh yeah, I stocked some neat tools. You can have them if you like. Those gloves will be useful for picking fruit and planting crops. The pickaxe will break any stone or ores around here. And the ax can be used to chop down trees for spare wood. So once again, we could give, what is a DeLuca coin? I'm just gonna do this so that we can, oh, well that, Interesting, so it's gonna go into construction for right now. But we get novice gloves, novice pickaxe, and a novice axe. I don't think we need to equip those. Oh, so I'm already hanging out with somebody. Um, then my shop is open, I'll have to stock with cool things every Tuesday and Thursday. I'll have everything from basic items to fancy furniture pieces. Thanks again for your help. This will definitely attract new travelers to Littlewood. So Tuesdays and Thursdays. So it's currently Wednesday, so you should have some new stuff tomorrow. But now we can try out some stuff. We can just use a pickaxe right here. And I don't know if this has durability, if it'll eventually break or something. Right now though, it's doing just fine. What about this? There we go. Knock down a couple of trees, get some wood cutting experience from it. And what about this sign? Town of Littlewood. Day three of spring is where we're at. But uh, day 11, we have a scavenger hunt. Day 17, we have a plague of weeds. Day 25, mad chickens. So it really is like Stardew Valley in that way too. I like that. I might want to move this house now that I'm seeing this. Uh, yeah, because we need to actually, yeah, there we go. I think I just made a mistake there is all. So this is Dudley's house. He's not here yet, but there he is. Thanks for building a house for me, Zebra. It's perfect. I think I'll, it will, I'll make many good memories here. Speaking of memories, do you remember how to fish? Hmm, so it looks like I'll have to teach you all over again. Novice fishing rod. Awesome. Fishing requires a lot of patience. Be sure to cast your line next to a fish, not on top of it. Then you have to wait for for the bike to for reeling it in. So I'll try that out in a moment. Also want to see if I can't. So I can't gather those just yet. Good to know. Um, I thought that's what the gloves were for, but I guess I'm wrong. And let's go out to the water so that I can fish. Oh, that was right on top of it. Not what I wanted. So you definitely have to be careful about that. There's no fish, other fish around for the time being. But hey, I can sell some more weeds, so I might as well take that opportunity if I can. There we go. And as this is happening, once again, uh, Willow is finding more dewdrops. So I probably wanna go and donate what I can, wherever I can, because I know that there was this right here, the smelter. I guess I have to do that multiple times for the star ranking to go up though, so. Can only do a little bit each day. Ooh, there's actually some wood here. All right, we got a bonus extra stuff. So I guess it'll just be making that on its own. I don't have to go up and do it, as far as I can tell. Weird. I definitely wanna try fishing though before we wrap up today. So let's see if there's any more fish over here. Yep, there are. So as far as I understand, I want to, oh. Oh, here we go, here we go. I got a minnow, nice. Will any of them go for that? I don't think, if it's not on like a direct line. Ah, uh, I, I did it too soon. Once again, too soon. That'll take some getting used to, but we can get there for sure. But for right now, I don't know if there's too much more we can do in today. 
phase three of spring. If I can find some extra weeds, I'll definitely take them. But I think beyond that, that might be everything. Hmm. Yeah, not too much over here. Can't quite, well, I could get up that way if I build my way up. So let's go to build mode. Uh, flooring, dirt road. Why is that not working? Maybe I can only do it from below. Yeah, I guess so. Interesting that it works that way. Oh, but now we're up here. Fancy. 20 more dew drops. Thank you. And I guess we really should be, you know, pickaxe uh, and the axe is using these until our energy totally fills up. There we go. Because, you know, if we only have a limited amount of energy every day, it's gonna be worth it just to make the most of that. And then up this way, same thing with this. Oh. Oh, it's nighttime. Or maybe that's more of a timer than it is anything else. So we don't have too much time left over. But I definitely wanna make the most of it. Oh, it's really close. I don't know if we pass out or something, but I feel like now is a good time to try. Oh, one more time. Uh, I'm tired, I should get to bed. Okay, so we should probably also stop hanging out for now. It's been fun. Yep. So we've already sold or put up a bunch of our stuff for sale. Not much more I can do there. And let's go to sleep. So day three went really well. We get a lot of good level ups there. Dalton level six, Dudley to level three. And as you can see, tons of stuff leveled up. <laughs> Interesting. And now it's Thursday. So like I said before, there should be new stuff in the shop. A adept friend maker, meet three town folks. Cool. And there's a lot going on first. Unread mail. Dear Zebra, I like slime apples, but not if they're all rot are, they are rotten. If I find rotten ones, I usually throw them at Willow. <laughs> Want to try it sometime? No, that's mean. Well, we get two DeLuca coins for that, which I don't really know what those are, but we also get a bunch of this. And oh, hello, you're new. A traveler brings gifts. Wedge the merchant, accept the gift. We got pebbles, thank you for the gift. This traveler wishes me well, perhaps we will meet again one day. I sure hope so. Oh, and who's this? It's like a little bird person. Hi, Bubsy. Hello there. I was walking in the woods and I stumbled upon this town. Some folks are saying that you're Zebra, the hero of Solom. Hmm, I expected you to look a bit more heroic. I'm Bubsy, Solom's greatest chef and fashion connoisseur. This place looks to be in desperate need of my good fo food and fashion sense. I'm sure my signature slime pudding or my bubbly dragon drink would satisfy you, your townsfolk. So now we got Bubsy's house, cool. Um, I'm not gonna go too crazy with building it. I'm just going to put it right here. Excellent. So if we go in, he might do something. We'll find out. Yep, here he comes. Hmm, this is smaller than I'm normally used to, but I think it'll do. Living in the same town as our hero is definitely a nice perk. Well, for the rest of the day, I'll be shampooing my feathers. Perhaps tomorrow we can walk around Littlewood together. Do you know much about fashion trends in Solemn? This scarf is a statement about my intellect and individuality. Cool. Oh, is that so? You're too kind, hero. Cool. So there we go, we, we met Bubsy. He's cool. Very fashionable. Oh, I do see a fish in this water. Wanna make the most of that. So what happens if I roll it, roll it out like that? Will he see that? No, it's too far. So that's sort of a bit of a puzzle in itself. There we go, got another minnow. I'll try my best to just continue catch to continue catching those. Yeah, I love these games a lot. They're very satisfying. They give you a bit addicting. Uh, let's try this guy. Talk. Do you remember the first time we fished together? Hmm, that wizard really did a number on you. You were very young. As for me, I was in my prime. I went on my old boat on Lake Okiwoki and fished all day. I, I, I had to cover you up with cold towels because of your sunburns. We still had a lot of fun out on the water though. And, and now because of you, folks everywhere can have days like those again. I'm glad. Uh, so let's have him hang out. I'll follow your lead. Maybe he'll find me some extra stuff. We can also talk to uh, Willow. You know, Don made a good point this morning. He says you need an official title at your own office. What do you think your title should be, Zebra? Um, sure. Mayor. It's decided you're officially Zebra, Mayor of Littlewood. That's a nice ring to it. Now, our new official mayor is deserving of an official building, a building where you can write new rules for Little Wood and for the townsfolk. The office, cool. We're running out of space to put everything now. I'm a little concerned. Hi, Dalton. 
Hey, zebra. I know, I know, my face looks terrible. This morning I was trying to pick some weeds around my house and a big dragon wasp stung me in the face. I'm going to craft a bug den. I'll catch every last one of those bugs. All right then. Give me some time to craft that bug net. My face hurts too much right now to move. All right, well, we'll knock down some trees. Um, it looks like uh, he's finding me some dew drops as well. Ooh, we got a slime apple tree. That's cool. And once again, I do want to go into these buildings and see if there's anything else we can do. Ooh, first off, we got a plain brick. Got a couple more. Oh, I'm using materials to do that. Oh, I see now. Gotcha. Either way, this time it's not asking for dew drops, it's actually asking, oh, I see, for different materials. Isn't that interesting? Um, so we'll give you three planks. I'm, I'm not using it for anything else. And then down this way, same deal I could use. Interesting. Now I understand. So some wooden planks right there. So there's a couple of things I want to get done right now. I want to definitely go fishing whenever there's a fish to, to catch. That's another minnow. And I guess from here, ah, oh, I reeled it too soon. Hmm. Was this a shop or was this somebody's house? I think this was the shop. Nope, that's Dudley's house. Whoops. So over this way, we will build that office soon. I just wanna make everything else get figured out first. Um, this is the shop and we can upgrade this too. Might as well work on it a little bit. What is this? A teacup bed, and these are a bit more expensive, plain bricks, dainty carpet. I don't need any of that right now, and it'll be there until Tuesday, apparently, so I think we're fine. I'll also knock some of this over. I still don't have the materials to get rid of that. Hmm. Let's go into build mode. And here's the office. And the office isn't too big, so I should just be able to do that. Awesome. And let's check it out. Whoa, fancy. Here's below. Wow, your own official office. It's very fitting for Littlewood's mayor. Over there is your brand new office chair and desk. That's where you can visit and make new town wishes. That plaque on the wall is also very important. You can view Littlewood's town beauty score. Well, Zebra, check it out. All right, cool. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I'm working on a new and exciting blueprint, but it's not quite finished yet. So we can go over to our chair we can see a couple things. Oh, so we can spend more two drops, a 2% chance to pick an extra fruit, a plus one fish respawn chance, bug spawn chance, 15 town decor allowed. Interesting. And then over this way, we also have that. So I, I can't afford any of that other stuff right now, which is fine. Very interesting things going on with all that though. So I guess for right now, it seems to be all I can do, because I've already talked to Dalton. Uh, give me some time to, yep, craft that bug nut. So I guess at this rate, we should just spend the rest of the day, you know, destroying whatever we can. And if we have any extra weeds, we'll put those on sale. But luckily, while all this is happening, um, Dudley is finding plenty of dew drops for us, which certainly makes a big difference. I cannot knock those down though, the slime apple trees. I don't know if I want to sell anything besides the weeds. I'm a little bit worried that that'll end up um, being something we'll need later. So I'm gonna leave that for now, but. Might mean that I'm not making as much money until more weeds pop up, but I think we'll be fine. Because we're still making good cash from that. So let's knock down this tree. And now we have enough money to improve something from the town. So I'll go all the way back over there. Remember I can sprint. <laughs> I did not remember that. So right here, we got this. Actually, no, this is the shop, which is cool and everything, just not what I need. So once again, go right here. 2% chance to pick an extra fruit. I guess we'll just do that one. We'll just work our way through them. But now we would need 200 for the other one, so don't think that's gonna happen this time. And let's get back down this way. So I think there'll at least be a couple more trees to knock down right over here. Let's get to it. I don't know if eventually we run out of trees and rocks to knock out. We'll have to be careful of that. But also, do we have any more weeds to sell? We have five more. Perfect. It's not everything, but it's, it's more. We're almost done. Okay, that's all I can do. Luckily, it's not like other games where you pass out and like that 
makes you lose stuff. And there we go. Yep, I want to go to sleep. And we do get some good levels for Dudley, which is what I was hoping for. And lots of extra wood cutting and merchanting. It's Friday, day five of spring. It's a good night's rest, I'm feeling happy. Good. And what do we got going on here? Un four unread mail. Dear Zebra, you're a professional woodcutter now, hmm? Let's, low level five is pretty impressive, Bubsy. And we get three magic wood. Interesting. Dear Zebra, I've been buying some of your items at the marketplace. I can't believe you sold all this cool stuff. Congrats on hitting level 10 in Merchanton. A merchant, Merchanting will allow. 100 dew drops for that. Dear Zebra, I'm very happy living in my, my cozy home here in Littlewood. Thanks for having me here, Dudley. 150 dew drops. And then finally, Dear Zebra, hmm, I'm starting to enjoy living here in Littlewood, Bubsy. We get a heroic merit. Cool. And then all of these extra ones. And let's just talk to all the townsfolk for right now. Yo, Zebra, I fixed my face, can you tell? Also, I made some bug nets so that we can catch all those pesky dragon wasps. Here, you can have the good one. Novice bug net. And then also, uh, there are all kinds of bugs that can appear in the town. Uh, it really depends on the time of day and season. Well, I do like five push -up, five and a half push-ups every morning, you know. <laughs> well, I'm glad to let the comp on. Let's have you hang out. Uh, apparently, it's a sword. That's cool. So let's see what the new um, requirement will be. Plain bricks, which we do have a couple of now. So there gives us a DeLuca coin. And I can't really do anything for the third star just yet, but I don't know what DeLuca coins are just yet, but I'm sure as we go farther in the game, we'll figure that out but for right now. I'm gonna do the same thing here uh, and get ourselves another DeLuca coin. Now, with this, oh, hey, you get back here. Oh, I see. I guess that worked, we get a Flutterfly. It's a little weird, but we'll keep trying that kind of thing. Now, when it comes to fishing here, trying to find an angle to get some of these fish might be tough. But that doesn't seem too bad. Come on, boom, we get a lily pad. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Will this work? No. See, finding the right angle for this fish is a little tough, but that was it, and then I messed it up! Oh, no. So I think I, what, I, what I wanna do, you know that time it worked? We get 20 dew drops and a flutterfly again. Got it. And that's gonna be a minnow. And can we do anything with the, the well? I wonder if there's anything at the bottom of this well. <laughs> Maybe we should hop down and find out. But I'd like to talk to everybody else while we're here. Talk to Bubsy. Good morning, Zebra. I've come up with exactly what Littlewood needs. Gone after the day, gone are the days of your townsfolk eating plain slime apples, twigs, and rocks. Oh, we get a tavern. That's cool. So one thing I'm curious about is if we go into build mode and lower and destroy, I can lower all this stuff, fantastic. So we can make much more room for everything. I'm sure that if we were to play this game more, you guys can always let me know if you'd like to see a full series on this one once, once the game fully launches. Um, we could definitely spend a lot of time reorganizing the town. Anyways, for right now we have that right there. We are starting to run low on certain stuff. I'll have to be careful of that. But here's the tavern. Oh my, you did a great job with this tavern. This will be where we create many masterpieces. My mind is racing with the possibilities. There are so many recipes to discover. You know, if you try hard enough, you can be the second best chef in all of Solemn. I, of course, will always be the best chef. Let me show you how to properly cook in our new tavern. This is where you can add ingredients to mix together and discover new recipes. This is called a bubble pot. It's one of three methods of cooking. Just interact with it to make your active ingredients together or mix them together. This is the food pantry where you can see your current dishes for sale. Every day the townsfolk will eat a dish and leave behind dew drops. Ooh. Over here is your collection of discovered recipes. Once you discover a new recipe, you can instantly cook it again here. Well, go on and have a look around. I like it. Each day some of the dishes you in your food pantry will turn into dew drops. Cooking is a great way to get rich. So obviously we don't have any recipes right now. And we don't have any food in the pantry. So I could just like put in some stuff like that. Today's hint is, okay, wait a minute. So if I were to unlock a new recipe, slime pudding. Interesting. And then also here, once again, we could put in that fancy. So I can't do those right now anyways. But if I can get a berry and a fish, I'm thinking that's gonna be something. So for right now, 
I will try to get some more berries. I'm sure that there's some more grown somewhere. But Josie, there's a lot to do in this game. And, I, and that's really exciting. It's always fun to put a lot of time in games like this. Because uh, I'm currently playing on the PC, but this would be a great game on like the Switch. Hey Zebra, I forgot to tell you something yesterday. While you were out adventuring, this old man found his green thumb. I grew all types of veggies on my old farm. It was quite rewarding. In case you wanted to try growing some crops, I wanted to give you this. I think he gave us some tilled soil. First you place some tilled soil down, and then you place some crops on top. There are many types of crops in Solemn. I'm sure you'll discover all of them. So we got plus six carrots. Oh, maybe it was, maybe not fish, but maybe it was carrots. Interesting. Anyways, whose house is this again? I think this is Dudley's, so we just talked to Dudley. Uh, carrots take about two days to grow. You can sell them for dewdrops or use um, them for cooking materials. Mmm, carrot cake sure sounds good right about now. So maybe I could just do that right up here. And do I have to go into build mode for that? Flooring. Tilled soil. So I could just set this whole thing up, just like that. That's like a nice little patch. Nature, trees, crops, carrot. They are here. There we go. I don't think I have really anything else. Oh, I have a slime apple tree. I don't have enough materials. Oh, oh, okay, I see, I see. So can I water that now? Am I supposed to? I guess not. And then we don't need to go in there because he's already hanging out with me. Dude, there's a lot to do in the game each day already. So we'll definitely try to keep up with that. Up this way, I wanna catch this bug if I can. Boom, one large feather, interesting. Once again, we'll put some planks into that. And then over this way, is there anything I wanna to add to the town? I could add one fish spawn per chance. That sounds good. Can't quite afford that next one. But we'll continue upgrading the town that way and I'm sure over time, it'll just get better and better. So I'm guessing Willow's in her house then because we haven't seen her yet today. Hi, Willow. Hey, Zebra. I was up all, all last night finishing up this new masterpiece. I hope you're not working yourself too hard. This is the most exciting blueprint yet. I was thinking that you needed a way to travel around Salon. There are so many people who would like to see you again. Also, there are many rare items that can be found in other areas. So without further ado, please take this. You got an air balloon platform. Fancy. You'll now be able to soar the skies with your very own air balloon. Promise me you'll take me on it someday. Cool. Uh, so maybe we'll try that out soon. But for right now, are there no more berries around? I don't think so. I don't see any. So maybe we should just try that right now. Maybe I'll stop hanging out for now so that we can just sort of figure that out without worry. But I'm guessing that's gonna be down this way. I mean, maybe not, maybe it's just wherever I put it. And if that's the case, maybe it'd be smarter up here. So build mode, yeah, right here. How big is it? Oh, it's huge. So once again, we're going to want to either elevate or, and does that, that actually uses grassy earth. So maybe it'd be better to destroy it. <laughs> Just because that way I save on materials. So that's all cleared out now. We're just gonna go back over here and get the platform and just put it like that. Very fancy. So let's go ahead and talk to this guy. And we could just go different places. We're currently in Littlewood. We could go to the Endless Forest, Dust Cavern, and there's several other places across the world that we'll get to. But for right now, let's give this 100 dew drops and let's try the Endless Forest. I just wanna take a quick look. But yeah, this has been a fun sneak peek at the game. Fiona, Lilith. Oh, uh, hey Fiona. That was your last chance, you're off the squad. You nearly killed us all with your uncontrollable magic. And you almost zapped our whirly bugs. We could have been stranded. I'm really sorry about that, Fiona. Please just give me one more chance. It's always been my dream to be a lightning mage. These are dangerous missions, Lilith. It's up to the lightning mages to protect and preserve the endless forest. I'm sorry, but we can't afford to risk more than we already do. Magic is not for everyone, but this is final, you're off the squad. Poor Lilith. Fine, I'll just leave then. Well, welcome to come to my town. And we can also upgrade the endless forest a little bit if we wanted to, I don't have enough right now. Hi. Hello, I'm sorry you had to see that. Lilith is a good girl, she just can't control her magic. I've never seen a mage with that much destructive power. All right, well, maybe we can invite her over and she can help us out. Anyways, the bug buzzer on playfully, I don't wanna catch this one. What about these chests? This chest is sealed by magic, I need to achieve level 50 woodcutting. 
So obviously there's a lot of stuff we can return to and improve. I don't know what's going on with this guy in the water. Looks like a little camel or something. It's a mud puppy. I wonder what the strange creature, uh, what other strange creatures live in the endless forest. And you, Olivia. Hey there, I'm Olivia. I tend to the worldly bugs here in the endless forest. Once they drop you off in the forest, you can leave by opening up your menu. Just let's leave forest and the royal bug will bring you back here. If you haven't gotten eaten yet. <laughs> Interesting, there's a lot going on in this game. Willow's tip, watch out for dark trees and their, and their root attack. You can knock them out with your ax if you're careful. Hmm. I don't think I can do too much here. Can I? Wow, that was some pretty rock. So I guess this is like sort of more of an environmental area where you can't like destroy things here. This is Gothi. Poogie woogie. Huh. Well, that's a lot of fun. Of course, we could continue exploring all this stuff, but I only have so much time in the day. So definitely let me know if you'd like to see more of this game. Um, this was a lot of fun. Uh, I definitely love this kind of game. I definitely want to play others like it, like Stardew Valley. And of course, more Animal Crossing. Definitely want to play more of that soon. Uh, but with that being said, definitely let me know if you'd like to see more of this game. Or feel free to let me know if there's any other game you want to see me showcase here in Zebra's Arcade. But for right now, that's going to wrap it up for today's episode of Zebra's Arcade. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.